All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the semi-late restream of the next any percent round robin latest patch match between Kiroshi and Truman. Hello and welcome on in. It's going to be commentated by Maddie here as well as me, Sawayoshi. We are back for the second race. We are back for the second race. We were commentating for a race earlier as well. And hey, it's been a few hours. We're ready to come yes, again. We're not. What is Kuro sleep. trying to do? All right. Let's get this started. Uh, gonna get it ready from both runners, and then we'll just start off from there. This is an interesting race for a few reasons. Uh, first off, the Kuro is currently uh, projected to be first seed in the rest of the tournament, in the top 16. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, in the top 16, Protective to be first, I believe, has a 35, 10, yeah, 35, 10 average, and the next person down is a, is a 35, 55, and that's Kali. So there's a 45 second difference there, so Kuro needs to get a, Kuro just needs to get anything faster than a 37, uh, I believe a 37, 05, no, a bit more. I think a 37. Let me think about this for a second. I think if it's a 30, it's a 3725 or faster to qualify for that, to stay in that top one seed spot. So we're getting started here. And uh, of course, that's uh, assuming that they get the win here uh, as we get a sync, I believe. Nice. Uh, in Tremon, is, I believe, currently projected to make it in. Uh, make it into top 16 in that second place spot in the in the group, in the pool. Uh, with two wins and one loss, uh, it is guaranteed to make it into top 16. It's just a matter of what placement he gets, what seeding, and it's that average that's going to matter there. Currently a 37.41 average and needs a 37, I believe, uh, maybe, uh, let me think. I think it's around a 37.10 or better to get pushed up from the 12th seed into the 11th seed spot above Axel. Gotcha. Very nice King's passes from both players. 56 and a 57, you love to see that. Yeah. Is this the pre-race comms curse? I don't know and I hope not. Yeah, Tremon missed a jump. On the way up to the uh, hard fall spot. Well, but then Vengefly Pogo saved it, so mm. not losing as much time as could have been. Yeah. Still Love to see the synced movement. Yeah, both <laughs> going for both going for that. Oh my god! Inventory, inventory, hard fall cancel. You've never you don't seen see those more synced. You know, you've never you never see those, and you saw both runners go for it. It's like we're watching the exact same screen. You can tell it's not because of the Grezzer RNG, but the hive mind hard fall cancel. Absolutely. And you also saw Kuro's knight walk into the transition, and Tremens knight walk out. <laughs> Funny. How that works. Ooh! Nice. Double spikes. Good double spikes from both. Is that tied to the tied to the millisecond? Let me surely. Kinda wanna see. Because that was 50 32. Okay, Kuro's ahead by point two one. Point two oh. Point two oh point two one. Somewhere around there. Two tenths of a second. Literal and that's frames. not gonna change. <laughs> Literal <laughs> frames. It's like yeah, point ten frames if two one. that. Winning in Geo though, and that's of course that's what matters. Both mm -hmm. hitting statue pogo. Love to see it. Nice. Yeah, as as long as nothing uh dras drastically unfortunate happens on either end, this should stay around a five or less second difference. Uh at least up into mound and then we'll see that 
change with Balder RNG. However, that ends up going for both of these runners. Oh no, a right jump. Oh, we also see. Yeah, that's some RNG there. Tremon getting a right jump, Kuro getting a left like jump, Tremon also taking left damage. From... I believe it was uh, just one left, but also you can just get uh, get False Knight down in one jump if if he jumps left. Gotcha. Missing Ooh. a hit on that wall though, and gonna need two extra slashes. That's gonna lose point eight. <laughs> 312.00 on the transition. Nice. Holy. To the second. Never seen a closer race. Never seen a closer race. There's been a couple races where it's down to the millisecond, tied into like cloth room. And that, those are the absolutely insane sinks. Yeah. Those are when you have like the two best runners going head to head. Yeah. 343 from both. Wow. Yeah, again, very, very close so far. Now see how it comes down to up. Boulder, Spit, RNG. You're going to see two of them, and both of them can absolutely just affect anything that goes on in this race time-wise. There's also a little bit of RNG in, in the Geo spread, because sometimes the Geo spread can be unfavorable and you just miss anywhere from 5 to 10 Geo off of the Balder, though 10 is on the very high end of what you miss. Yeah. With bad RNG, we'll see Ooh. Tremon 1, Two. Kuro on the left, Kuro on the left three, 1, Tremon 3, 4, four five. 5, spit. And taking a hit too. Ooh, 5, that's going to lose, I believe, somewhere around Grabbing 6 seconds. Gonna... Soul Catcher? Mm-hmm. Grabbing Soul Catcher. Can help a little bit in Green Path. On average True. loses time though. Clipping it. Yeah, go ahead and put it on here. And also helps in, in uh this Grussar climb. Only needing seven hits as opposed to nine. Can go in with much uh much uh worse Grussar RNG you can make it work. Much easier. It I'm doesn't help with right Balder RNG, but Kuro gonna be getting some good Balder RNG, getting double first, first bits. Bit? Yeah, that's double first bits from Kuro. See, hopefully this Balder is a little nicer. No. No. Okay. Oh, it's a little nicer. It's a little nicer. It's, it's a just second a touch. Bit. It's a bit better than five. You're Tremon heading into green path here. Also, just face tanking everything. Mm -hmm. In mound, it doesn't matter as much because you have a bench right there, and you're gonna be taking it if you have if you're putting on soul catcher. Which maybe that was an option select because he knew he was sitting on the bench. True. In green path, it's a little bit more annoying because and also going to that bottom route, he doesn't need as much soul. Grow good fireball skip here. In Green Path, that damage can hurt because you have you have Moss Knights, you have Man Pogo sometimes if you miss that fireball skip. You have you have uh Vengefly King. Uh we don't know how that's gonna go. We have two Moss Chargers. Good one, one fireball, fireball from Kuro on the left there. Very nice. Only had soul for one and made it work. And of course the Hornet fight can take take tons of health as well. Two from Good Tremon. Fireball. As the soul for it isn't going to risk the one. Mm -hmm. Good double for Kuro. Oof. That yeah, at least, at least he didn't but fall. But not all falling the all the way down. Exactly. Ooh. Good. Jump back. Love Double to there see from it. From Hopefully a quick kill here. Yep. Nice. We're gonna be All taking Venge Fly King. Doesn't need too much Geo. 220 is a little low if you're going for uh, Devout Skip later on at the very, very end of the run, but it, it, you can make it work. You can absolutely make it work. And I'm gonna be leaving here with a little bit more 226. 
see how these Hornet fight go fights go. Kuro going in a little low. Five. You you want six if possible. And of course, Soul Catcher on Tremens side just gonna be almost maxed out. Yeah. Absolutely, loads of soul. Saves time on the Hornet fight a little bit. Ooh, doing Gets the fireball oh. skip. Yeah, that soul can can make that a good option. Skipping the text. That Hornet fight. Oh, what a. Oh, no. oh, the double. Good double. Of course, Kuro getting that 7-5x cloak. We'll see what the cutout oh. is here. Eight. 802, yeah. Tremon just trailing slightly behind. 810. But also also picked up Soul Catcher, so there's a little bit of time loss from that. I'm going to 820. 819. It's like 802 and 820. Or 19, was it? Yeah, 819. Is Rixian in the chat with the Deltas? Absolutely love to see it. Two to eight nineteen, delta of seventeen minus zero three to the last split, which is the. So Tremens saving, saving time because probably uh, oh, a little oh. bit due to Soul Catcher, but <laughs> hmm, hmm, that was a little interesting. A little nice interesting. Slash. Good static slashes for Tremens. Did Tremen also get hit by that? Looks like it. What Both is happening? Four health coming down here. Don't see that very often. No static slash. Does that even save time? Uh, it makes it. It makes it so you don't have to land on a platform earlier. And it there there is an RNG fall where you just hold right and it works. But it's RNG and if you dunk, you just lose five seconds. Gotcha. So the static slash makes it consistent and optimal. We're heading into E Pogo here. One far. Oh Ooh. no! Hurrah. Did that kill the? Yes, it did. On one point four, not getting the, not getting the slash early enough. Falling all the way down. Yeah, gonna go for it again. Oh, if you take a hit here, you're dead. Gotta be a little careful. I'm missing fireball too. Mm-hmm. We're going for it again. Fireball to back it up though. Not gonna be shooting Just that not fireball. Even fireballing. Okay, Kuro gets it. Both having a little trouble with this there farm, with this go. Epogo. Okay. Tremon saving a little time from not having to gather soul, not having to re-enter the room. We'll see how this pans out. Looks like Kuro's still a little bit ahead, but it's a bit closer. Oh no! Ooh, not quite getting that Mantis Bogo, though. Then that might bring it back to even on the split. Ooh. Ooh. It makes it on the right side, though. Nice. Oh, 957-ish quit out. 957 quit out, just barely cutting 10 minutes. Probably gonna be... 10, 21 quit out? Looks like 22. it. 22. So yeah, that Mantis Bogo hurt, and Kuro's still still widening that gap. Plus 7. The yeah, 7 one. seconds, that's quite a bit. Does plus 24. mean it was in... Kuro's favor or against Kuro? Yes. Uh, plus means it's in the the leader's favor and that gap is widening. Gotcha. Never understood it, so. <laughs> it was just Delta a funny is the number. Time. Oh. Delta is the time in between. Dramon taking an unfortunate dunk, having to go through the entire room again. The gum cycles are a little off. Yeah, Delta is the difference between the runners yes. and the plus minus is the difference from the last split. I got the deltas, I just didn't get the plus minus. Mm-hmm. That was certainly an Ipapa moment. Seeing a little bit of a light meltdown here from both players. Ooh, that's not great RNG. And yeah, gonna be falling down a little a little slow on that Grosmon, but hey. It's just a second, and what is a yeah. second when you have a 24 second lead? It's a second. Can the Geo still get any other stuck lead. in the ceiling? For one yes, it, it can, and that hasn't changed at all. The, what has changed is they just don't drop Geo anymore. Gotcha. The, the small grocers don't drop Geo, so you just lose 14 there. 
So with the metaphysics. But of course. Ooh, not the best cleanup from Tremon. Didn't see the best cleanup from Kuro either, but hey. They both made it work. You see those inventory knockback cancels on Kuro's end? Yeah, Tremon going to be leaving a Salubra with a little bit more health. Having, or, or Geo rather, uh, having 17 as opposed to 12 on Kuro's end. Right, we'll see. Shade nice skip fancy here. Nice screen. Of course, where did the missing bottom left corner go? There it is. It's right on the inventory. So weird. It doesn't make sense, and it's and it's, and apparently Team Cherry knew about it because it's back on one point five. I mean, oh, good shade skips from both players. No fireballs. Mm -hmm. No Love fireballs. See Kuro heading into Dream Plots a bit before Tremon does. Be seeing it a little bit before, but Kuro is sizably ahead now. After the after uh, Mantis Bogo, uh, the Balder Spits, and a little bit of optimizations here and there. Looks like a 30 second difference, half a minute between the two now. That's around one and a half Umu cycles. So who knows? If Kuro gets a three cycle with two extras and Tremon gets a two cycle with good RNG, then this could be an even race. Couldn't it even be just a three cycle with bad RNG? <laughs> yeah, honestly, it could. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Kuro going first blood on that last set there. Runners doing these dream plats just amaze me because I don't even remember where they are. Reporting <laughs> y'all to the comms curse police. Hey. Hey. We did not I didn't I didn't curse anyone. I just I'm just stating facts. It could happen. It could, true. It could happen. That does not email, mean it will. Way. Oh nice. Good like goal. Five seconds. Wow. <laughs> Oof. Both getting Seer Skip very nicely. We're heading into City of Tears. So, City is going to look a little different between these two runners, I believe. Uh, Kuro, I know, is definitely going to be doing rafters, and Tremon, I believe, going for King Station. Sure, Tremon does. You said Tremon did Kings, right? I believe so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure last restream, because I restreamed that one too, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I saw Tremon go for Kings. Mm -hmm, that was the one double. difference. Oh, Tremon gonna go rafters. Nice. We'll be seeing that. I believe Kuro missing that double, missing another double. Not what we want to be seeing. Not at all. I yeah, can be taking an extra cycle on Gorgeous Susk there. Tremon getting that perfectly. Let's look at the Geo counts here. Kuro with 497, Tremon with 502, very nicely holding that uh, 5 Geo gap, but the, in the other way this time, because Tremon is now in the lead in Geo count. Wasn't he in the lead oh. at the beginning of the game? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's true. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Tremon gets safety bench. No. Kuro did. Tremon's gonna skip it. Maybe doing a little bit of that. 
that danger. danger. Needing to go, needing to, to oh, go, go a little, little bit risky, risky to try, try to get this win. win. Bro, getting hit. Robot, love to see it. Thank you, Discord. Let's see if I can fix it. Did that fix it? Did it fix it? Who knows? No one can tell except for chat. Yep. Alright. No. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> it didn't, but then it did. <laughs> Amazing. Alright. Uh, well, it's fixed now, and Matt's completely fine. We're just gonna run with this yeah. and hope it doesn't break again. I think both of them heading into Watcher Knights on low health. Uh, Kuro heading in on three, Tremon heading in on four, but it looks like he took a heal. I think it's the um, application audio capture that's actually doing it, not Discord. Because if it was Discord, I'd it be hearing be. it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be some sort of difference between some sort of interaction between discord and obs yeah who knows either way very good water nights from both here yeah kuro taking a heal and having plenty of health to work with for this last pair though taking a hit and tremon also working on this on this first pair there's one down there's two down and now both are on the last pair getting good getting good doubles Oh, Kuro no. on one health, oh, though. Oh, God. Now, Cornered. Kuro did take the safety bench, so it's not game over if he ta if he takes this death, but... Uh, but it's still okay. last pair. It is still last pair. Last night, even. Oof. And there we go. Oh, God. Tremon now. Tremon... Healing. Tremon's a little scarier. <laughs> because you're gonna have to come back all the way from Salubra. That's one down. That's two. And that's two down. Love to see Good. It. Watch your nice. Never scared. Nope. Never scared. Knew that they were going to have great boss fights his entire race. Mm -hmm. I also just noticed that uh, not only did he gold his dream nail, he golded his chandelier break. <laughs> oh, nice. And All these golds Once today. again, having two golds in a race. You love to see it. You really do. In room 18, 18, 31 second delta. Mm -hmm. All right, heading into the second half of this race here, going to be going, both of them going to be going into rafters here. A little bit of a surprise from Tremens end, but we'll see what happens. Of course, it looks like a 31-ish second difference here. A bit less now, just under 30. Still keeping that one and a half Umu cycle difference. Oh, good inventory drop from Kuro. <laughs> the camera's not cooperating. But. Ooh, good Dream Nail drop. Perfect from Tremon. Gonna get these geo sources, get the geo chest first, get the uh, seal second, or maybe it's the other way around. Uh, both runners gonna need a little bit of extra geo. Uh, Tremon 19 short, and Kuro, it looks like a 26 short if she wants to get that uh, devout skip later on. Falling onto that elevator on the way down. Hmm, a little unfortunate. Neither runner is going to be able to get enough Geo with just Lever Lads. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see where they get that Geo. Tremon only needs one extra. Kuro needs seven, I believe. It'll, it'll also be interesting to see whether either of them just foregoes uh, Devout Skip entirely. Tremon taking a hit and going to be fireballing there. Looks like probably going to be doing left rafters then. Not enough soul to do right in any sort of timely fashion. And Kuro gonna be missing. It looks like missing that and gonna be going for left as well. 
Oh, and missing no. that that hurts. That hurts. Gonna have to do the do the uh, elevator back up here. Tremon going for left nice. raptors and gets it. That's gonna save time. That's gonna save some sizable time. Kuro went for right, then went for left, and then had to go for the elevator, and still falls down even farther. And Tremon gonna be saving, yeah, very very sizable time. And there goes probably half of that lead that Kuro had going into this split. Maybe a little less. More sun down yeah. It looks like still a good 20-some uh, second lead for Kuro. So still a bit more than a new Moose cycle. But yeah, it is around 5-10 seconds gain on Tremon's end. And that maybe that's the first of a few things that he needs to get this win. That is the first of the clawback. First of the clawback trying to tarnish Kuro's perfect record in this in this uh group round. Huge upset. Mm hmm Here it looks like Kuro, that's yeah, where good, Curry's gonna be getting, that. getting. Yep, 2359. That's enough. Tremon on the other hand needs that one geo and gets plenty more than enough. 2371 going into King Station. Impossible. Oh no. Oh no. I think that's Kuro with, this, with Kuro with the most wild e coyote frames you've ever seen. <laughs> Doing the fireball on Tremens end and on Kuro's. I believe that hit for both. Mm hmm. Oh. Went to the wrong place. Accidentally canceling the stag. Interesting little tidbit, tidbit that people usually don't know. Uh, you can cancel a stag by pressing any of the any of the I believe uh, two three cancel buttons. Uh, nail, press nail, focus, or pause to uh, cancel the stag animation. Interestingly enough, before you get sent. All right, yeah, and it does look like Tremon saves some time there. Uh, 25 seconds behind, still. We'll see how the rest of this race pans out. Now, Kuro, a very, very seasoned uh, 1.4 plus runner, usually running all skills 107, any anything around those parts of the world. But, but also runs 1221 any percent, and has been for... A, yeah. a while, so Ooh. it's possible that that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> good pog axes from both of Those them. Those were pog axes. Certainly, some of the pog axes of all time. It's possible that Kuro's uh, one two two one experience comes to haunt, comes to haunt Ooh, them because. Good god cycle. Good god cycle. I don't think Kuro Cause... has touched one two two one since that tourney. That it's entirely possible. Text. And things like Umu are very patternized, so it's possible that it doesn't cause anything, any issues. I'm getting a good inventory drop there, we'll see if Kuro gets them as well. Just gonna forego it. Ooh. Now we're getting, to try we're and getting get that it important then... one. Not getting it again and then just saying, screw it, I'm gonna fall. Yeah. Tank cycle. Kuro, if they go for it, gonna be at one health. Yeah, Gary. going to be at one health going through. Knows the cycle in and out though. Of course. Shouldn't be an issue. Scary Very for good. us, not scary for him. Not as scary for the runners. They know what they're doing. Yeah, and it looks like we are gonna be seeing. Uh, pretty similar peaks, actually. Pretty similar crystal heart splits. No one dies here. Exactly. There, we've seen 
a couple Shelby cycles, but that's about it. Shelby cycles, rather. Yeah, it looks like Trim is saving one second. Let's go. Looks like right here. Getting a sync, is that? Oh, Kuro getting the inventory drop and then accidentally canceling it. Right, we're going into Umu. At this level of play where you're getting into the 35-34 range as we get that sync, uh, a two cycle becomes pretty, pretty standard. So it'll be interesting to see whether uh, Either of these runners get it or miss it. It's possible that either of them get it or miss it. And that could swing the race either way because a two cycle saves 20 seconds. C dash bug from. Girl? Mm hmm. Got interpolated into the wrong place. And Kuro gonna be taking this bench for safety. Poor health going in and makes that five. But also, more importantly, gives you a save for if you accidentally die to Umu or the acid after it. We're going to be hanging with much more health, much more soul rather than Tremon is. There's that six into nine. That only needs one Dream Nail here, getting good RNG on that first attack. You want to see as many of these uh, placement attacks as possible and, and less chasing attacks. Chasing attacks lose, I believe, 1.5 seconds on average. That looks pretty high, and that's going to be an extra. Extra is not easy to save, and getting a slow attack as well. Tremon, on the other hand, getting a good, fast attack at, at, at first, taking the damage tank. Kuro, this should be winnable. We'll see. That's one. It's two. Oh, fireballing it's three doubles, way. but yeah. I don't think that was the wrong way. I think it was just the wall ate the fireball. And yeah, that's not going to be enough unless Kuro pulls out some sort of miracle <laughs> miracle fifth fireball here. See so, yeah. Kevin getting one, two, three doubles, and that is enough damage. Well, this might be, again, something that Tremon needs to get the win. And getting good RNG, getting that dream nail. This is going to be close after this Umu. Kuro also got an extra. You have to remember that. Was that another extra? Oh no! I don't think so. Tremon, unfortunately, gonna be falling there. Gonna be not. Gonna be missing that. Oh, oh that is an extra for him. Kuro. Kuro. Also, Tremon gonna be also fell. Yeah. Three cycles from both runners. You don't see that very often at this level of play. 34, 35 PD no from extra both runners from getting. Tremon. Yeah. Oh, nice double. Tremon having a Tremon having a little bit better RNG. Probably still saving time, but Kuro. Kuro getting that three cycle, and that was Tremon's chance to make it back and accidentally missed that. Oh no! Accidentally fell down. Ooh, good save on that C dash there. Love to see it. But yeah, gonna be much closer after that Umu fight. Holy. Just from RNG alone. Wow. Once again, we find out why Umu is one of the bosses to ever all night. One of the bosses to ever. Do not despair, Umu says, and then throws you extras every single cycle, Five and you can't do anything about difference. it. Minus 19 Five off that Umu. Second. Minus 19 off of RNG alone. You have to remember that both runners got two, got three cycles. It's just the extras and the attack patterns. And those can just give you one full cycle. You have to remember, though, Kuro also took the bench, took the safety bench, so that's gonna... That that also lost a little bit of time. Tremon skipped that. But still, 15 seconds just to RNG alone. Yeah. And so do both players do... Do any of them do... Uh, support stream like... Uh, I believe what I've seen is Kuro does uh, QGA and Tremon does Sports Room. Gotcha. So it'll be interesting to see how those differences pan out. With the race this close, only a five second difference. That Honestly, that route difference could decide the run. Uh, could decide the race because 
QGA optimally played is around 20 to 25 seconds faster, though. That's one dunk at two. QGA. Two dunks. Healing. Two dunks. Gonna be taking a heal. Two heals. Gonna be taking two heals. Okay. Having a little bit of trouble with this nice. QGA. Gets out, though. Well, that's gonna lose a little bit of time. And going into QG on no soul is not uh, not exactly what you want to be seeing. Getting an extra pogo for some soul. Five soul on the left. Meanwhile, Tremon on the right going through Fungal. Going to get Spores Room. Kuro going to take a hit. Tremon also taking a hit. Good double on Kuro. Going to be doing right Petras. Having a little bit of trouble with right Petros. I've seen, I've seen their uh, stream recently, and they've been practicing that. And yeah, gonna take a, gonna take a dunk there too. This could end up being a Denquit out for Kuro. It could also end up being a death. Two health here is not very good. Very very scary. Tremon on Tremon on three here, but has a lot of options. Uh, can take the safety bench, can take a couple heals, there's plenty of soul to work with. And God, doesn't crazy. even need the quit out. People arrive. People arrive. What do you mean? People you leave. I'm not cursing anything. Oh god. And yeah, oh god! Be taking the damage tanks, not going down to the breakable floor in time. And yeah, that's three hits. And back to, back to Monomon he goes. It'll be interesting to see. That deepness route from here is just going to... It, it would lose time, but also, yeah, that Geo. The Geo, the Soul, it's probably still worth to go back down to Deep Nest and get that get that shade, even with the 40 second time loss that it takes. I have to wonder how they're feeling right now, how Tremon, after that death, after being such after being such a close race in Kuro, if, if she's watching the stream. Oh! Uh -oh. Though, also uh -oh. Kuro on one health, and that's not a very good uh, hazard respawn. I'm gonna be taking a couple heals. That's and yeah, there's a, there's a Spider. Weaverling. There's a little Weaver there, rather. Yeah, Tremon opting to go back down to Fungal and Deep Nest. Going down the Hot Springs route just to get the shade. Still a few things that could go wrong, though. Yeah. It is uh, not... Cut clear. Uh, Beast then that uh the devout skip can cause problems. The uh just the rest of Den there there's a bunch of spiders that can just just absolutely demolish her health there. And of course that THK fight isn't easy. Especially on 1.4 compared to 1C21 is a little bit faster, a little bit more difficult, and there's an attack that does double damage. So Kuro not quite out of the woods yet, and we'll see first this Devout Skip here. Very nice. Only taking one hit, and has some soul to work with. And Trem going back down. There's that breakable floor. Where's the shade? Where in the world is the shade? Has to look for that shade as well, have to remember that. Sit down here. It looks like it. Okay. And getting all that Geo back in full soul uh, meter as well. Kuro, two health here, should be fine. Shouldn't have any issues with this last devout. There we go. And yeah, that's Kuro through Den here. Tremon losing chances to catch up. And yeah, that's not a C dash. <laughs> Kuro almost falling out of Hera, all out of Hera Dream. Everything is going wrong for both players. Yeah. Hey, at least uh, Hera, it feels bad. Falling out of Hera feels bad, but it only loses like six seconds. Yeah. Which I'm going to be doing this pogo. I don't know if that saves time. Oh, it might with that, actually. Taking a hit, though. I don't think that pogo actually saves time, now that I'm looking at it a little, little bit closer. Never seen it, but... Alright, Kuro sizably ahead after that. 
after that, uh, Beast Den, or Beast Den entry into the Hera. Kremen does have one time. last chance to catch up. We're seeing both in Distant Village at the same time. One leaving, one entering. One leaving, one entering. Yep. Kremen still does the have the THK fight. One last glimmer of hope for the win. Though, if you look if you look a little bit closer at the standings, and you look a little bit closer at their win rates and their average times, whoever wins really doesn't matter. It's just average times that they have to go for. It is, of course, a race and you want to win, but in terms of qualification, it's just that average time they have to pay attention to. Sir, saying in chat that on good RNG, the spider climb. Uh oh. Oh, it's not going good for Roman. Yeah, I'm gonna take, gonna do a den quit out here. Serp saying that good RNG for spider climb, for spider valider, whatever, saves like two seconds. All right, so it saves a little bit of time, but need good RNG. Yeah. Ooh, getting another instant open on Tremens end. It's not great. You're getting bad RNG both times. It is, it is winnable RNG on that devout skip, but like, not what you want to be seeing. into THK here. Looking like a 36 pace from Kuro. <laughs> Tremon! Yeah, that devout skip. And just gonna opt to, it looks like, just take out the devout, the two health, not what you want to be seeing. One health now! Might not even opt to go for the devout skip again, yeah. There that is. Kuro taking a lot of hits, three health. Oh, Tremon's just bleeding time with those devout skip attempts. One scream from Kuro. Getting the good RNG and Tremon finally making it over. Finally makes it over, but not without being hit with that double damage. Mm -hmm. Kuro, with the Kuro with the second scream. Kuro with the second scream going to self stab at this point. Two health is a little scary, and yeah, going to be taking two heals up to four. Getting a fountain that's good DPS. And this looks like. At the very least, a win for Kuro, though that 36 might hurt that average a little bit. So with four races, it doesn't hurt it as much as it would in a in a four-person pool. That scream, not getting scream skip. Three health, though, looking pretty good. Revan, a little scary. He takes out the devout. That's THK down for Kuro. Why did Tremon need another inhale hit? Uh, I believe he only got three and you need four. Ah. Good run from Kuro. And at this point, it's a guarantee. Kuro takes the win. Tremon gonna be running it through, running it through to the end. For the people, I believe. Yeah, that's a 36.30.98. Rixian saying, I guess that's just rando. Yep, this is a rando. Mm -hmm. This is not <laughs> rando. <laughs> we had GG's to Kuro. Yep, GG's to Kuro, and let's watch out uh, Tremens run to the very end, of course. Being Spore Shroom Runner, gonna be taking off Shaman and putting on Soul Catcher and Spore Shroom. For oh, getting three notches. That. <laughs> Great inventory <Right> drop. <laughs> Alright. Can you get an inventory drop out of a dash? Uh, yes, because this is 1.4432, and that's the last patch that getting an inventory drop out of a dash works on Trim, and unfortunately not getting the fast spell. The Instabell, I believe it's called. Yeah, truly, this all just stemmed from grabbing Soulcatcher, Clueless. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
clueless. Absolutely. Almost. Right. Almost getting the pogo. Heading into THK. To save his average, really wants to get this win on the first attempt, but not the end of the world, time wise, if he doesn't. It's gonna be a little different uh, THK fight than you saw from Kuro. Of course, with Sports Room, gonna change up the strats, gonna change up a lot of things. And here we go. Starting with one hit of soul, which is exactly what you want to be seeing here. And here we go. Want to be hitting a lot of these uh, heals, these sports rooms. You're going to be seeing this right here. Lots of heals. These do a lot of damage. Anywhere from 1 to up to around 10 damage per tick if you play it well. Yeah, going for some inventory knockback cancels. Maybe a little bit apprehensive to do them. They can cause uh, inventory storage. Near screams can be a little scary. There we go. And that's exactly what you don't want to be seeing is THK doing a, ta doing a stationary attack where they stay in place outside of your spore. Because then it's just a wasted spore. That's two damage a little scary. And going into Scream, yeah, very fast fight. Spore Stream just makes this fight very fast. Taking one heal, not going to have enough for a second. There we go. Two Spores and THK staying within them the entire time. That's already Scream. Final Scream. Needs one more Spore to finish it off. One more. One more for the road, and there we go. That is GG. It's going to be a mid-39. From Tremon. Taking in the THK's infection, becoming the Hollow Knight himself. The final time of a 39 34. Yep. GG's to both runners. All right, we'll see if either of them wants to come in for interviews. I have a couple questions for both runners. I'm an interview. Here. Uh, so that run sucked. <laughs> well, come on, Ed. Both of you, GG's on the run. <laughs> yeah, GG's. Did you also have not a good early game? <laughs> yeah, it was bad. I picked up Soul Catcher. Just... Uh -huh. From oh. muscle memory, from running so much, all oh. broken arms. <laughs> and, <muscle memory. laughs> and then I was like, I'm just going to equip it, I guess. <laughs> so I just <laughs> ran early game with Soul Catcher on. It was pretty funny. And then I was able to use Soul Catcher for THK because you can fit it on the mm -hmm. sports room without overcharming. <laughs> uh, Certainly a time. Yeah, I did bad, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. Hey, I I missed I messed up Epogo like I think twice. That one was I it very annoying. Times. I learned a yeah. new Epogo before this race <laughs> and went for it, and uh, I got it eventually. But it took a few. Tries. Eventually, yeah. hey, Kremlin for you. Eventually, was faster than Kuro got it. Let me tell you that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, was I killed this four, and yeah. just everything went wrong. Yeah, it's just I, not good. I messed up rafters, I messed up... Ooh, that one was annoying, the hungry wall, and I was just like, uh Today's just I, not yeah. my day. I had the setup for the T-cycle, and Umu was just like, pixels too far away, so my first nail swing didn't connect. Yeah. I pushed forward and fell in the acid, because I oh, thought it would connect. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, I had a C dash glitch on my way there, it pissed me <laughs> off. I was, I was a bit annoyed at that point. Yeah. So you take the safety bench on the way to Umu. Yeah, I figured like, okay, if everything's going wrong, something's gonna go wrong. I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, something interesting. Uh, a little tidbit. So, both of you got three cycles, right? Yeah. On Umu. 
Fremen still saved 19 seconds on that split from RNG alone, and also that bench, but... What a good game. Uh, what I a also game. had an insanely clean, like, my... I usually fail once or twice in the uh, fog, or fog Canyon drop room, and I, like, mm -hmm. did it perfectly mm -hmm. this time, which is nice. Nice. If only the same could be said about your deep nest. I, yeah. I don't... <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was bad. It was really bad. I it was, I was on 3 nest. HP, and I'm like, I'm just going to I'm gonna take the deep nest hot spring bench on 3 HP. I might as well try for the, mm -hmm. the um, early cycle. cycle. And I died. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Wait, before or after you got the bench? Before. Oh, <laughs> no. I before. respawned... At one on one, oh, yep. that sucks. Yeah, uh, and then super I just could not devout skip to save my life. Yeah, and I had to save quit like four times. Oh, uh, <laughs> I lost sucks. a minute on that split alone. <laughs> my yeah, my trap bench wasn't good. Like I think just literally just before I wanted to do QGA, I had this weird like lag spike, and then I was like, oh what? And then I dunked into acid, and then. Before, like, before I press C dash, there was another leg spike. I dunked into acid twice, and I was like, "Hey, today is just yeah." <laughs> I, like everything was bad. Watches was bad. I got a one twenty five watcher skill, which is like I don't, not even good. know what my watchers was. I removed my splits. I wanted to go I away, yeah. Go I messed up. I messed up my GHS skill. <laughs> that one was very annoying because it was I... gonna be fine. Also, because I was just kind of out of it from early game, I'm like, I'm just gonna go for stupid stuff, I guess. So I went for rafters when I normally go for King Station, and uh, <laughs> it worked. It. Oh, let's go. Did you get I right just... side or did you do left, left side? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I failed left side. I was just so annoyed. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, Kuro, I saw um... you. Did you go? Did you go for right side, or were you planning left side from the beginning? I was going for right side, but then the bench fly was just too low, and I was like, oh god. And I was like, I dashed, and that was just so annoying. And I was, well, I was just like, okay, never mind, I missed it. Like, you can just like, in my mind, it's like, okay, fine. Like, just go straight for left side. It shouldn't be too much. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, right? Mm -hmm. But uh huh. Like, this game is a yeah. yeah. It is a it okay. is a time. It is certainly a time. Yeah. All right, uh, Kuro, I have a I have a question specifically for you. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and it's uh, it's regarding those average times. So yeah. Tre so Tremon, you're guaranteed in, and that's your last race, right? Mm -hmm. I believe you're currently projected to be twelfth seed in the final bracket. That might have bumped me down to thirteenth, but I. Don't I believe. Know. I believe. Looking at the times, I think it's still twelfth. Okay. All right, Kuro, you're first. You're projected to be first seed. Yeah, that that brought you down from a thirty five ten to thirty five thirty seven. That yeah, I know. I know it's like it sounds weird, but it just annoyed me because like I wasn't ex like thirty six is something that I don't like. Yeah, like, it's like unless like, you like badly mess up something and take a death somewhere. That's not usually something that you see at that level. Yeah, because like in my mind, I was like, okay, bet for me it was like okay, bet early game I can still get a thirty five, mm -hmm. right? Like, like because like a nine forty seven claw isn't like that bad they can still 34 even with it yeah so i was like okay let's just continue and then um everything was all right i think and then the ghs kill uh the bad ghs kill i was like okay this is gonna yeah. be difficult and then the watcher nights happen i was like okay this is gonna be tight <laughs> and then <laughs> i had a good like i think i had the luck slightly lucky rng but like i was a bit too slow for a dog cycle and yeah. then I was like, oh, this is not going to go well. And then I missed the invent inventory draw. And I was like, okay, this is going to be a 36. <laughs> it was like every single thing, small thing that was... Yeah, that could everything just bad. stacked up. Yeah, everything just, like, just messed it up. Yeah. My one good split was C-Peak. C because I practiced C-Peak for like an hour or two yesterday to really like get it in. And I got... I didn't get a sub two. I got like a 201, but I missed the big inventory oh, drop. Nice. Oh yeah, which saves like what one two seconds or something. We're on one second. 1. One 5. second. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was very annoying. There's a question yeah. from A Press for Sawa actually. Oh, Homothity yeah. could uh, still throw off seating, right? Absolutely, and Homothity can uh can break that. Uh, first seed in that pool is guaranteed to be Cali with three wins, but Homothity can take second. 
and those average times with a 36-31, that can, that can shake up the bracket. Currently protected to be ninth is Zertsim, the 37-08. Uh, Homothity in that same group, with, if these averages hold, would take that spot with a 36 average. But in terms of uh, in terms of placements between seeding, uh, he would just be replacing Zert, so it doesn't affect the seeding within that uh, ninth to sixteenth block at all. Interestingly enough. Sawa, so, so you got my time off by twenty seconds on the sheet again. Okay, so <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to make an excuse here. Part of that is because you closed live split immediately. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It was a thirty nine thirty four dot ninety nine. Thirty nine. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. You know, making these is hard, especially when you yeah when you convert sad. everything to seconds. Yeah. I'll get the milliseconds later. I think it was 99. I think you were right on that. Who knows? Um, I could be wrong. Yeah. But I did close live split because I didn't want to look at the splits <laughs> anymore. Yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, by the way, I'm hold I'm uh, maintaining a sheet with all the times for the races so far and predictions, whatnot. It's a very nice sheet. Well, very good you. sheet. Yeah. All right. If there's no other questions, I think we might start wrapping things up. We'll wait. We we'll give it a couple more seconds, and then we'll start closing down. Yeah, it doesn't look this stream like there's any more questions in chat, as it is just a press talking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't believe there is. All right. Uh, so, so yeah, yeah. Thank you you all. can close it out, Sama, if you want. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, let me real quick uh, do this. Uh, yeah, uh, GG's to both runners. Thank you to uh, Maddie for co-comming and also restreaming this race. Yo, Maddie. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely amazing. You really do love to see it. And thank you all for watching. Um, okay, so there's another race. Are we still live on comms, by yes. the way? <laughs> okay, <laughs> just making sure. We do have another race uh, in, in it looks like, around uh, 17 hours. Uh, I think 17. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, so come back for that, and you, you'll get notified for those races if you follow. So make sure you do that. And we'll see you all back then but for now thank you all for watching and we'll see you all on the next race y'all right.